I guess so this is my common carrier cruiser which I test on survival to increase its combat effectiveness, survival convenience and also combat endurance so we're just gonna do a quick fly around here and it's still meant to be like a navy ship but also more of a privateer or commerce flagship kind of ship and you will see that kind of direction in the aesthetic and functions of the ship here in on the exterior and interior as we go through the ship and I just woke up by the way so if my direction is kind of poopy that's why and there's a floating console there but I've removed that for the um release version Alright, so uh, this is the side entrance here, which is like for public or visitors and guests. Kind of like a drive through when the ships park and stuff. And here is the public bathroom. Bathroom, however you pronounce that word. And it's one of the entries to the crew area some medical and oxygen stations here and here is the public or common room uh, area and here is like a cargo box for public use you can set it to public and have people like uh, drop or take stuff from there and here's another entrance here and here is the guests or visitors bedrooms for them to sleep in a ship and stuff back here we have the constable or officers office whatever you want to call it this is for like visitors and guests or one crew to meet with the ship's crew or maybe it's like a floor manager kind of office so you can see the overall um, direction of this being a more public ship from all this and it's one of the entrance to engineering and this is right underneath the F turret So we're just gonna check the crew area here. This is the mess hall. This was the briefing room before, but I thought it would make more sense as a mess hall for the crew. And there's a kitchen there and stuff. This is the entry to cargo area up there and to the bridge. But we're gonna check the hallway here first with some more medical station and oxygen station this area here is now the officers briefing room which i think makes more sense because it's more private here all right so up here is the extra upper cargo compartment and some fuel tanks here as well also some other stuff back here is the internal hangar bay so the ship do, do ha does have internal hangar bay now with some landing pads outside of course this is the extra crew quarters because the ship has more NPC crew now so I think it would make more sense to have more crew quarters 
some extra generators from up there. You can see the overall direction of this being more like a commerce and public ship, like I said before, from all these changes, which I think suits more people's playstyle and my playstyle. And the sword field is here now because in combat test, the hull was breached and the, the breach was depressurized. So that's, that's there now. These armored windows are here and they do help in combat. When the window was breached and stuff, these extra windows kind of add more protection. And this is the elevator shaft which you saw before to the vessel and cargo compartment. Some crews here, medical station, oxygen station, and a window here to the hangar bay. So it just has more convenience. Armor locker there and a teleport teleporter. And these are the uh, access doors on the side so you can more easily get in and out of the bridge and this cutout here is functional so you can like uh, spawn your drone and stuff without having to go outside or somewhere in the ship where you can spawn the drone so there's that Alright, and, uh, and here is like the other entry to the crew area which you saw before. Alright, so the ship is obviously longer which is good because long ships are good. So we're gonna check what change here. The crew course has been modified oil cosmetically. And down here is the bottom cockpit area kind of thing which is based on my space engineer's design and this is very useful for when you're like looking for plants and pentaxid on the ground because doing that from third person in this kind of big ship is kind of hard so you can just kind of like go down here and use first person this way to look for them which makes it a lot easier and this is the middle entrance here which you also saw on the frigate so there's that we're gonna check the front area now the captain's quarters has been modified so you now enter to the bedroom first before the bedroom back there which I think makes more sense this way oh my brain is loading words right now <laughs> and the same is also true for the officer's course here A fancy bedroom all right so the entry room and the infirmary uh whatever you call this medical kind of thing in the ship is still pretty much the same with some changes and some cosmetic change as well so the spot for the tool tart here has been changed this is the same elevator shaft to the deck and landing pad from before. And here is more extra crew quarters. And there's no graffiti beyond this point. This is like an extra constructor room and extra generator room. And there's like another cockpit in front of the ship there if you want to control it from here and this whole area is mostly for 
damage buffer zones so this whole area can get like shot out and it would like barely um, affect the ship's maneuverability and function so that's kind of like the main function of this whole front section here and the kind of compartment uh, compart <laughs> compartmentalization or segmentation whatever the word is kind of health of that area being like a damage buffer zone uh, I shouldn't have made this direction right after I woke up sorry guys but we're gonna keep going here so you can see more fuel tanks there and so and this is the elevator shaft to the area which you saw before all right so back here there's just more stuff in general and more cargo extensions to add convenience and back here you can see the hv hangar bay it's way bigger now so like i said during combat test the hull was a bridge when i made like a maneuvering mistake after i ran out of shield so the whole bottom area is now combat still well most of it and you can see the added side skirts there which add extra protection and also like as a housing for extra thrusters and stuff so there's that i'm mumbling right now <laughs> help all right so the drill turret has been moved from the middle of the ship to down there it kind of works in the middle but it kind of makes it hard to drill and mine stuff because it constricts the movement oil or the hull oil hull. anyway down there it's kind of easier now to like mine and drill because you can swivel the drift to the left and the right so yeah uh that's the ship guys and you can find the link in the description below i'm happy to have work on this and test it because I think it made the ship more convenient and useful in general and I hope you guys like it and stuff so yeah uh, thanks for watching and guys thanks for watching the video if you guys like the video subscribe to the channel and like the video there's also a discord there for you guys to join and stuff and more videos to the left I'm probably gonna make like a second life video next or another Embryon or Space Engineers video. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Take care, everyone.